Hello everyone. Today's video, we are going to discuss how to obtain the square root of any number within few seconds. Finding square root can be discussed under four cases. Case 1. Square root of a perfect square number. Perfect squares are numbers such as 100, 400 and 1225. We can use this method to find square root of any perfect square number. Case 2. Square root of any integer approximately. Example, numbers such as 20 and 45. In this method, we get approximate answers. Case 3. Square root of any integer exactly. In this method, exact answer is calculated and this is a more complex method. Case 4. Square root of any decimal number exactly. This method is similar to case 3. In this video, we will learn about case 1. That is how to find the square root of any perfect square number. Other cases will be discussed in another video. There are a few basic things we should know to calculate the square root of a perfect square number. This can be presented as knots. Under note 1, we are going to learn about square of numbers ending with 0. 10 square equal 100. 20 square equal 400. Now I think pattern is almost clear. Take the square of non-zero digits and then put two zeros at the end. When taking 30 square, take the square of 3 and then put two zeros at the end. 30 square equal 900. Likewise, we can complete the pattern. Under note 2, we are going to learn about square of numbers ending with 5. We have discussed this in a separate video. Anyhow, if we summarize the method, if we want to take the square of 15, first we write 25 and then take 1 and multiply it with immediate integer after that. It will be 2. So, answer is 225. Likewise, in all other cases, we can write 25 as last two digits. Now we want to find the numbers that are coming to the boxes. What we have to do is take the remaining numbers excluding 5 and then multiply it by immediate integer after that and fill the boxes with the answer. Number excluding 5 is 3. Next integer is 4. Multiply 3 by 4. Put answer in the box. Likewise, we can complete the rest. Not 3. Now you must be wondering we are learning a different thing. Not to take the square root of a perfect square, we must know these concepts. Here also we are going to learn a something we already aware. 1 square equal 1. Now we are going to check the behavior of last digits when we take square.
If we just neglect ten square, we can see a relationship in last digits. One square and nine square will give one at the end. Two square and eight square will give four at the end. Three square and seven square will give nine at the end. Four square and six square will give six at the end. So from this we can learn that if number is a perfect square, then the last digit should be either zero, one, four, five, six, or nine. We are almost done. Now we can find the square root of any perfect square. Let's consider few examples. Square root of seven hundred and twenty-nine. Take number 729. Now remind the node 1 and identify which number 729 fall between. 729 is greater than 400 and less than 900. So square root of 729 is a number between 20 and 30. To go for a more close approximation, now take the square of 25. Just remind the note 2. Square of 25 is 625. As our number is 729, now we can conclude that answer falls between 25 and 30. Possible answers are 26, 27, 28 and 29. Remind the note 3. Three square and seven square will give nine as last digit. So only possible answer here is 27. We can cross check the answer checking the square of 27. Moving on to another example. Square root of 1849. Take the number 1849. Now remind the note 1 and identify which numbers 1849 fall between. 1849 is greater than 1600 and less than 2500. So, square root of 1849 is a number between 40 and 50. To go for a more close approximation, now take the square of 45. Just remind the note 2. Square of 45 is 2025. As our number is 1849, now we can conclude that answer falls between 40 and 45. Possible answers are 41, 42, 43 and 44. Remind the note 3. 3 square and 7 square will give 9 as last digit. So only possible answer here is 43. Moving on to next example. Square root of 4624. Take number 4624. Now remind the note 1 and identify which numbers 4624 fall between. 4624 is greater than 3600 and less than 4900. So, square root of 4624 is a number between 60 and 70. To go for a more close approximation, now take the square of 65. Just remind the note 2. Square of 65 is 4225. As our number is 4624, now we can conclude that answer falls between 65 and 70. Possible answers are 66, 67, 68 and 69. 
Reminder not 3. 2 square and 4 square will give 4 as last digit. So only possible answer here is 68. So now you can find the square root of any perfect square number within 3 seconds. We will discuss next 3 cases in another video. Thanks for watching. If you like this, make sure to subscribe for more.